Hey guys, Jimmy here, and uh, today we're gonna be uh, hooking up the old bush hog to the 350 here. So we'll get started off by starting the old 350 up. It's out of gear. Watch this. This puppy's at idle. This thing will run on one cylinder, I believe. Of course, when I take a video, it makes a liar out of me. There it goes. Look how many RPMs it's turning. Get you a close up of that. Now that is roughly, that's, that's about three something right there. Look at it. About ready to die. You give it a little bit of a little bit of choke here. A little bit. Bring it up to a high idle. When you you know what it's running right there. Actually, I think we'll just leave it. So I got my got my draw bar in, and we're gonna go over here and I'll show you how easy it is to use a 350 with the fast hitch to hook up to a bush hog. So we'll, we'll push in our clutch here, release our brakes. We'll drop this puppy in fourth in this high torque. And we'll take off. Oh, look at that. Oh, she's still cold. I guess I should have let her warmed up some. We'll go ahead and pull that torque back since we're kind of going up a hill. Got the torque. We got the old torque back. Let's see here. Let's give it a high idle. There. Now at least it can move. So that's doing about. 500 on the tachometer We're going to spin it around here Spins on a dime All right now, let's All right, so what we got to do is we got to lower our fast hitch By pushing the lever forward Ought to be about right. Push the lever forward, lower it, pull it back to raise it. And whenever you do pull it back, sorry about that, I can't see the camera. Whenever you do pull it back, it locks it in so that way if you're plowing or something, you just pop that lever, spin, do whatever you need to do. And whenever that gets to the very top on this uh, hydraulic cylinder right yonder, it's got a cutoff. Oliver had it too. I think the Super 66 and Super 77's had it. And then it'll just click off and you don't have to worry about it. Now for lowering it, you have to manually push it. Well, line the old bush hog up here. Try to. A little far, a little far. All right. Oh boy, that'll do it right there, hoss. So we'll raise our hitch up here. And good thing about a fast hitch, see that hole there? It's off a little bit. Well, we'll lock our brake for safety's sake. Right here. We'll push our torque forward. We wouldn't get off easy. Let me see if I can get you set up here. Somewhere. No. Well, we'll just have to do it. Let's see here. Let me set you all down here a minute and we'll uh, get back to the scheduled program. While well, I get this nut off this bolt. 
All right, so for this bush hog, need, uh, I guess you'd call that a spacer. Now see, your PTO's on. I don't know if y'all can see that visibly or not. See, your PTO's on. That ain't what you want, okay? Come up here. At this point, it'd be a good idea to shut the tractor off. But I don't know, I may have to do something with the hitch, so. Until I get this bolt in, we'll leave it running. So you have a grade A bolt, grade eight, sound like I said grade A, grade eight bolt with a, a flat washer, and that's a spacer to fill in the space for the ball bearing on the, uh, on the bush hog draw bar. And then you got another flat washer on top of that, and then a locking nut that goes on like that right there. So we're going to insert all this. I want to lower the hitch here. That's about better. See that way whenever I'm dropping this bolt in, Oh, let me get my hand on the camera here. When I'm dropping this bolt in, see I can push that hitch over enough to where that'll slip in. Just like that. And then I got enough room to slide my washer on and put my lock nut on. And there you are. Sorry I wasn't filming that. My bad. There you are. Now all you got to do is put a wrench on top, put a, take the impact, I'm going to use that battery impact right there, and tighten that puppy up. Might also be a good idea to maybe lift that up. See now, with this jack over here, now y'all better take in this video real good because I'm wasting time filming this. I could have done been hooked up by now, but... So this jack right here is hard to turn. Well, with the fast hitch, where the draw bar goes into the hitch, you can raise that puppy up some. Look how easy the jack turns. If it ain't a hundred years old. You can turn it no problem. I'm spinning that puppy right up. Right? Okay. So you do that, and if you park it in the grass, you gotta take your board and put it in the wheel of your 660 diesel. Now see, now that, all the weight's on that bolt there. All right, so now, now that we got that picked up and everything, we can safely turn off the tractor. We can safely turn off the tractor. And we can tighten our bolt. Since I don't have a cameraman or a tripod or anything fancy, we're gonna do it the old fashioned way. And probably gonna stop the video and you gotta come over here and get your crescent wrench. Wherever that has run to, there it is. A toolbox. Good old standard crescent wrench. And I'm going to pause this while I get this hooked up. Alright, we got it hooked up now, folks. So, it's, it's secure. Now, you want to take your PTO. You want to put it on that shaft right there. Now, there's a locking pin on there that you got to push in. And what that does, there's a little lock in there. And, let's see... Finding. Anyways, a little groove around that PTO shaft. I know you can't really see it there. Sorry about that. But there's a little groove around there. That's about all a couple inches up on that shaft there that that PTO will lock into. And that's how it stays on. So, let me do that real quick and I'll show y'all me doing that. If Stay on the
See, that's what I was worried about. Phone fell. Anyways, I got it up on there now. That pin's locked in. Up in there. All you gotta do is just slide that forward. Look at that. Locked in. Oh, man. Folks, it is hot today. So now what you do is you take the crescent wrench back around. Put it back in your toolbox and wipe your hands off from all the grease. So, you lay the phone down to do that. Wipe my hands off. I'm sure y'all can imagine what that looks like. All right, so now, see this hydraulic hose? Well, I ain't gonna use it because I ain't got no place to put it in. But I do have the locks on the back there that hold the cylinder up, so it ain't like I'm gonna lose any height of cutting. I am gonna run me some lines one day here whenever I get a chance. I'm gonna take these out, put a 45 in them, run them up under that belt pulley, and back up through yonder I, I'm thinking if it'll fit come out the back I got a bracket I can put them on hold on folks I just got oil on my hand or on my arm here wipe that off quick so yeah and then I'll take these here and I'll make them I'll put them back there since I ain't just gonna get rid of them or anything, but they're internationals, I believe. They look like it to me, so I'd have to get a Pioneer adapter for the hydraulic hose. But I've put new plugs, points, rotor button, a new cap on the, and new plug, or yeah, I said plugs, on the tractor, so it's got a whole new ignition system on it. I've had the starter rebuilt, had generator rebuilt. I got a original muffler for it. Most people come up here and they cut it off about right yonder or something. Make it a little short muffler, but I, it works fine for me. So, yeah, that's what I've done to the old 350. So, let's get over here. We'll, uh... We'll get this going. What you do is take your nice high dollar Craftsman impact wrench and you just lay it up over here. That way whenever you quit bush hogging you'll forget about it and leave it laying there. And then there you are. Now where does that come from? No clue. Anyways. So now you're ready to go bush hogging. Well, hold on. You got one more thing to do. You got to adjust the height of your bush hog here. So you get back up on here. And start the old tractor back up. She'll start. Boy, like a champ. Now, folks, this tractor is on the original 6-volt system. So it ain't been converted to 12 or anything like that. So it's like it when I bought it. Let's see. Oh. Might ought to put her jack up. That'd be a good idea. Hold on, folks, while I do that. I ain't gonna make you watch that. I'll be right back. Alright, folks, I'm back. We'll get up on here and we'll adjuster bush hog now I've run this so much that I know exactly how to, where the, I can tell by the angle of the PTO right there how far I need to lower it and you need you may need to lower it or raise it depending on the your tractor let's see about that right there Still may have to get off and kind of look at it and see. 
here. This is not the way to get off this tractor. Quickest way. Kind of step back. Look at it. Sure it looks level. Alright folks, it, it's good enough. I ain't too picky about that stuff, so. We'll get on with the bush hog. I know that's what y'all came to watch. We're already 15 minutes into this video, so. We better get going, hadn't we? We'll get the tractor a little bit of throttle here. He's out on the clutch. Now this is an eight foot woods bush hog. Woods 208. And this tractor, it's kindly heavy for it. Uh, you would have saw the, or feel the weight of it on the tractor, then you would know, but, I mean, it runs it, so. It ain't like it's hard on it or anything. And always, folks, check your oil and stuff before you take off. I've done that before started filming, so we're good on that. And you notice it's still a little wet out here, but I ain't gonna hurt that old bush hog. No. So we'll, we'll get over here and we'll line up, show y'all how to do this here. Now I'll probably make a lap or two here and I'll uh, cut the video off and finish the job up, you know. So, back the old tractor up here. We'll, uh, I know I ain't the best cameraman, but working with what I got, so. Alright, you hope out there, back up again, because you want to start right at the edge. You don't want to miss anything now. So. So you kind of leave it at an idle here. But enough to where it ain't going to kill it whenever it starts the bush hog. Push your lever down. Push your safety pin down. And slowly engage that PTO. You want to slowly engage it so that way it ain't that much shock on the PTO. And also your, uh, your shaft coming out of the tractor. So, see here folks, right there is the uh, recommended RPMs, 540, so that's what we're going to put it to once we get going here. Second gear, high torque. Well, it start about right there. Take off, then you put it on up to your RPMs. And you let out on that clutch easy. Then you come over here. Now I know, already know where it needs to be at on the uh, uh, throttle piece here. So I just kind of know where to set it. You'll learn that, of course. But and away you go. And if you're a bush hog like mine, you don't need to cut too hard. Or you hear that? That's that PTO and it'll shear a shear pin. And you'll lose the key and everything. There's a little key that whenever it's up on that uh, 
the shack, the actual PTO shaft. You see it right there. Whenever you slide that up onto the other part of the bush hog, it uh, it's got a key in there that kind of holds everything in place. And also, with the narrow front, whenever you go to make a turn, you can always uh, you kind of swing that front end out past the grass. I'll show you right up here. And that bush hog will follow the right person. Now, I know I ain't taking a full swap, but this is the outside pass, it ain't gonna matter. See right here, look at it, kind of swing it out. That bush hog should follow. Of course, you do it enough, it'll just come to you and you'll do it without hesitation. So. 1957 Farm All 350, roughly 35, 30 something, 37, 35 horsepower, running an 8 foot woods push haul. What year? I could not tell you. After you make your first lap, what I usually do is I'll pick roughly the middle of the field and I'll go straight down the middle. And if you got to, pick you a tree down to the edge of the field. That'll be your sight. Keep the nose of that tractor right on that tree, and you'll be straight as an arrow. My great granddad used to have the straightest rows of corn in this field right here. And I think it's because he done that with his old 40 Farm All H. 1940. So. Well, folks, I'd like to give you the whole video, but we're getting back to the edge of the recording. So, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to tell you goodbye and stuff. And I'll let you watch until the time runs out and then we'll uh then the video will be over so thank y'all for watching like give you comment if you want to and subscribe if you want to i ain't gonna force y'all to so i'll shut up now and let you listen to this old girl work Talk to you later.